This is Natalie V, the only Latina on the U.S. fencing team. For the last 10 years, she's trained to be an Olympic athlete. 2016 could be her year. I think for the most part, I really enjoyed having long hair and smiling and then beating people up when I put my mask on. There is a certain degree of anonymity when you put on your mask, and so there's almost that feeling that I imagine warriors felt when they put their armor. I just feel powerful, I feel strong, I feel invincible, and I feel smart when I put it on. I started fencing in a class of all male fencers. I was the only woman, and I kind of developed a style. Sometimes I feel like I have to, I had to be off timing. If someone hits me hard and they're like, oh, sorry, even if it hurt, I'm not gonna show that it hurts. I had a different approach than everybody else because I hadn't grown up in the same school that everybody else had where they were fencing from the time that they were seven or eight years old. I had to learn on my own. My dance background really informed my fencing. I approached everything in terms of rhythm and timing. Instead of having perfect rhythm and timing, I really focused on having weird rhythm and timing. That's the way that I hit. I hit in those off moments when people don't expect. But the big difference is the mental game. The big difference is what you have inside. That's what gives you the edge. That's what gives you the focus. That's what gives you the difference. That's what can make or break about 